Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Denisha Backmore and today I'm going to be showing you how to create stretchy daisy chain rings. You can also create a stretchy daisy chain bracelet with the technique that I am showing you today. The tools and supplies you will need to create this bracelet are a collapsible needle. I pulled this needle apart so you could see it. It collapses. Um, your favorite stretch cord. This one is Stretch Magic and it's 0.5 millimeter. It's very thin. And then we need seed beads. I recommend using only check glass seed beads. The Chinese seed beads are irregular and the daisies won't come out as well. These are eight slash zero seed beads. And you need three colors. I picked yellow, white, and green for this project. You're gonna start by cutting about a 20 inch length of 0.5 millimeter stretch cord. And as with bracelets, we're gonna pre-stretch the cord because this will keep the shape of your rings or your bracelets if you pre-stretch your cording. So just kind of go through and stretch it a little bit. We're gonna attach the cording to our collapsible eye needle. So we're just going there and we're gonna pull it down so it's nice and secure. We're gonna set that aside. And now we're going to lay out our beads. So we'll lay out our yellow. We're gonna need more white. And then our little green accent beads. You can attach a bead bug to the end of your cording or you can put a stopper bead. I prefer actually not to put anything on the end of the ring. So let's start the ring. We're gonna come in and we're gonna pick up four seed beads and one yellow. And we're gonna string these beads down to right about there. We need to have um, some length on this side to form our knots when we're finishing the ring. We're gonna go through the last white bead. We're gonna pull that through so it looks like that. And then we're gonna flip it on this side. And I have tension on this because it is a stretch ring. If you don't apply tension on it, the ring is gonna be really loose. So you always have to make sure you're applying a little tension on the cord. And now we're gonna pick up three white beads and we're going to string those down and we're going to pass it through the top bead next to the yellow. So I'm going to pull the tension down and I'm holding it with my fingers and I'm passing it through that top bead and then we're going to pull it tight. So this flower is basically acting as my stopper bead. That's why I didn't put anything on the end of it. So as we're going to make it a little loose on this side, we'll just pull it tight. Now we're gonna come in and we're gonna pick up one green, four white, and one yellow. We're gonna string that all the way down so it butts up 
to our flower and we're going to string through this white bead only. You don't want to string through the green bead, only the white bead. So we have tension and we are going to pass the needle through, bringing it up, pulling it, and we're going to check to make sure it's nice and tight, kind of pull it gently. Okay, now we're going to pick up three white seed beads. We're going to be passing it through the top white bead. and then pulling it tight. Once again, we're gonna pick up a green, four whites, and then a yellow. We're gonna string those beads down. And we're gonna keep the tension. You always have to keep the tension on the stretch cord. And we're gonna pass it through. The white bead. So I'm just gonna pass it through, but I'm not gonna pull it yet. Because I'm gonna apply the tension onto it. So I pulled it down and then I'm just gonna pull it through. So I pulled it through and we're moving it down and we're just kind of adjusting it so that it butts up against the green bead. And then we're gonna flip it. We're pulling it and we're picking up our three white beads and we're going through the top bead and we're just gonna pull that through. And there you can see our ring is starting to form. So once again, one green, four white, one yellow. We're gonna move those beads down. And then we're gonna pass through the last white bead and then we're gonna grab the tension here and we're gonna pull it there and then tighten it. So it's nice and tight. I'm still holding it nice and tight. So I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna pick up three white, come through the top white bead and we're going to pull that tight and I'm still holding it keeping the tension on it and we're going to pick up one green four white one yellow we're going to bring those down. We're going to pass through the last white bead. We're going to come over here. I'm going to pull the tension down. I'm holding it with my fingers. And then we're going to pull it. And you can adjust it. You can just kind of pull it a little bit so it butts up against there. Now I'm holding it with the tension and we're going to pick up three white. We're going to come up to the top bead only, pass it through, and then we're going to pull it, pull it 
pull it nice and tight. So once again, we're picking up one green, four white, one yellow. And we're gonna string that down. And I have um, tension applied. And we're gonna pass through the last white. And we're gonna pull that. You can kind of move it down a little bit. So that's what it looks like. And then we're going to pick up three white. And we're coming in and we're passing it through the top white bead right above the yellow. And we're just going to put tension on it, move it down a little bit, and pull it tight. I'm keeping the tension on the cord with my fingers. We're going to pick up one green. Four white. One yellow. And we're moving it down. And we're keeping the tension on it, passing the needle through the last white bead, making sure we're not going through the green. We're gonna pull that, pull it down so it butts up against the green and then kind of flip it over to the other side. And then we're gonna pick up three white and we're gonna go through that white bead right above the yellow. And we are going to pull it tight. So let's do one more. That should make about a medium size ring. These uh, rings basically can be sized to extra small, small, medium, and large. And that's about it. You can't make exact ring sizes because of the daisy pattern. So we're gonna pull those beads down and we're keeping tension. And we're gonna pass through. Whoops, let's move that out of the way. That last white bead. We're gonna pull it making sure it's right up against the green. And then we're gonna pick up three white. And then we're gonna pass it through that white bead. And this is the length of the ring that I am creating. Now we're gonna pick up one green bead. This green bead will be used to connect the ring. So now we're gonna form our knots. I don't usually form my uh, regular stretchy knots this way, but because the ring is so delicate, I had to figure out another way of creating the knot. So we're gonna pass the needle underneath. So we're just like forming a regular knot and we're gonna pull it right about there. It's a good idea to kind of put your finger right there and hold it. And then we're gonna come underneath and we're gonna pass under one two. We want to make sure the tension is on the knot and we're just going to slide it down. Let's get this out of the way and then we're going to pull it tight. 
now to add um, a little bit extra security so that the, um, the knot doesn't come out, I'm passing through the center yellow and the white, just like that. And I'm gonna pull it through and now we are going to form another knot and I just passed it underneath. And you need to make sure it's right in between those beads. And then I'm coming back through and I'm gonna go one. Oops, let me get this underneath here. Two. And then I'm gonna gently remove my finger and I'm gonna bring that knot down and pull it. And I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna pass it through the green. We're gonna go through that white. Then we're gonna go through the center yellow into that white bead. So it looks like that. And we're gonna pull that cording through and we're gonna go around our finger through the loop so that the cording is right up against there. And now we're going to pass the needle under the loop one, two, Right under there and we're just gonna pull that tight and then we're gonna come in and trim this end so I picked up um, wire cutters I'm just gonna come in and trim that end off so we finished the one side so now we're gonna add extra knots on this side. So we have to attach the needle to the other length of cording. So we're gonna pass it through our collapsible needle and we're gonna just pull it down so it's nice and tight. Mine's kind of bent. And then we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna go through the other side. So we are going to go through the yellow and the white. And we're going to pull the cording through. And once again, we're going to wrap it around our finger, making sure that the cording is in between the green and the white bead. And then we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna come through one, two, make sure it's between. And then we're just gonna pull that knot down, pull it tight. We're gonna go back through the green, back through the white, back through the other white so it's those four beads and we're going to pass the cording through. We're going to come up. We're going to wrap it around our finger, pass the needle through. And we're making sure that it's between those two beads and I have tension on it and I'm coming back in we're going underneath one, two, and then very gently, we're going to remove our finger and pull that knot tight. And let's do it one more time, just so you can get the idea. So we went through the white bead the yellow center bead. Now we're going through that white bead. And we're pulling it through. And we're coming up 
and we're going around our finger underneath. We're making sure the stretch cording is between only the green and the white bead. And then we're gonna pass under one, two, we're checking before we move that knot off. And then we're sliding that knot down. Now we're just gonna come back in and trim that little end. Put that, that to the side. Here is our ring. It's nice and secure. I have really big fingers, so this is a bigger ring. Let's see, this is a tiny daisy ring. This one would be like an extra small, like a four or five. So the amount of daisies you create depends on the size of your ring. When creating the stretch bracelet, you just um, do the same process we did to create the ring. And as you go, when you get to the number of daisies, check it around your wrist to see what size you would like. And then to finish off this bracelet, you would use the same knotting technique that we did with the ring. This necklace was created using the same beading technique, but with a different cord. This is created with Beadalon Wildfire cording, and um, then I finished it off. This is a necklace that I created for my daughter. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know if you would like to see how to finish off a necklace using the Beadalon Wildfire cording. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and uh, click the little bell button to receive notifications on when I post new DIY videos. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Denisha's Back More. I love feedback and comments. I comment on everybody that leaves a comment and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.